You're back sooner than I thought. Any results? Yes. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. Hmm. <laughs> Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Why else would he have chosen to sleep in solitude, staking everything on some nameless in the future? But you have the numbers, and in numbers comes strength. So that might just delay your inevitable a little more. Uh, got any more encouraging words? As I see it, relying on Welt's negotiations alone is far from enough. Regardless of whether the other party will be compliant, negotiating simply allows us to meet them as equals, and won't grant us an upper hand. Panacone is our rival's home turf, and we already have very few chips left to play with. Rather than idly sit around while the family's got us blocked off, an offensive approach might be a wiser course of action. We're more familiar with the Stellaron's properties than most, and since it's the key to stabilizing the Sweet Dream, it's vital to the family's interests. By attacking their core interests, they're bound to retaliate hastily. And as the saying goes, haste makes waste. That's right. As long as we pose a threat to the Stellaron, either with words or otherwise, we have a chance at gaining the upper hand. But the problem is, on the eve of the Charmony Festival opening, how exactly are we going to get close to the theater? Family security will be airtight, and if we brute force it, even if we succeed, it's too risky. Hmm. So, no one's gonna say anything? Then I'll raise my hand. I know the answer to this question. Why are you speaking like the General of the Law, Fu? So, I heard that before the Charmony Festival begins, there'll be a pageant to kick off the festival. It's called the Soul Glad TM Festivity Auditions, or something, and it's going to be held in the moment of Scorch Sand. As long as we clinch the top spot, we'll be able to attain the title of Festive Superstar, and be able to personally bask in the graces of Miss Robin. Uh, not that that's important. <laughs> What's crucial is that we can enter the Grand Theater before the audience arrives. So, how do we go about participating in these festivity auditions? <laughs> I've already procured special invite tickets from Miss Robin's fan club. Uh, to tell you the truth, I had been preparing to join the auditions all along, but now it looks like even if I scrape through, I probably still won't have the chance to shake Miss Robin's hand. So they're still running this thing, huh? It was originally just a publicity stunt, set up by Mikhail to drum up attention. But it looks like it might be worth a shot. We'll follow Marge's plan. Mr. Gallagher, will you be joining us? I'm afraid I won't have the time. As a virtual character, I've already completed my final mission. Whether Penacone can awaken from this dream is all down to you. Should we ever cross paths again? I'd love for you to visit the Express. All right. I'll have to add to that data bank of yours you've got on the Express. And Miss Firefly, we thank you for all your support. We're faced with a formidable enemy. As long as the Astral Express and Stellaron Hunter's objectives are aligned, we're willing to cooperate with you. We've already come this far together. I'd like to join you for the rest of your journey on Penacone. I'm pleased that we can finally fight shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't ask for a better ending. This is also the spirit of the Trailblaze. Now, everyone, 
let's prepare to move out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scorch Sand Hall. This is where challengers thrive and dream chasers shine, all under the watchful eye of the entire universe. If you have ambition, dreams, and the drive, dear friends, the next superstar of Penacone's Charmony Festival could be you! Oh, wow! They've really outdone themselves! Oh, I'm starting to get excited! Behold! Here come four friends with spirits high and full of zeal! Are you aspiring to be the superstars of the festival? Uh, is he talking about us? Yes, you! There's no doubt about it. I see you have all the potential of a superstar in you. Excuse me, you four. What are you hoping to get out of all this? As the last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of the challenges? Would you be open to a brief exclusive interview with us? It'll be quick. Your journey is long and fraught with peril, yet under a sky blanketed by banners, you vie for the crown. The sword and rose! Protect the beauty, the beauty, the beauty! Magnificent and majestic! A knight's head is hard as steel. Brother Land's focus is stubborn as a heel. We don't all have to be winners, but if we don't have fun, <laughs> we'd all be sinners. People are pouring in. It kinda feels like all sorts of baddies are showing up. Let's get in there quickly and enter the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please make way, <laughs> make way. Coming towards us now is one of Penacone's top 10 wealthiest tycoons and the Soul Glad Business Empire's founder, Mr. I. Dean. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, I. Dean Lina. My four friends, introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral Express, and these are my companions. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't you guys need to hide your identities? I can't hide it anyways. Penacony is plastered with our posters. And because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Uh, uh, don't expose my net handle to everyone! Uh, hello, everyone! I'm March 7th! I'm an ordinary girl who loves adventures! Hello, everyone! I'm Firefly. Mm, I am also an ordinary girl who enjoys adventures. So it's a bunch of nameless guests! This final face-off is bound to be spectacular! Time is precious! My four friends, come with me! Grab a bottle of Soul Glad and make your dreams a blast! This place is buzzing. That's right! This venue is a miniature representation of that time known as the era filled with boundless possibilities. Grab a bottle of Soul Glad and make your dreams a blast! Nameless, your arrival reminds me of the grand occasion when Penacone was first established. I was still a young, bright-eyed lad back then, lured here by the watchmaker's ads, full of zeal and ready to make my first fortune in life. Once, during a particularly grueling day, I passed out and was resuscitated by a drink from Mr. Sousa. That sweet taste has since been etched in my mind and that was what drove me to create the soul glad that we all know and love today. The dream chasing era was truly a wondrous time. Oh, I miss those days and the watchmaker. 
Scorchstand Hall is my homage to that time of boundless possibilities. I wholeheartedly hope you make it to the finish and emerge as the next superstars of Penacony. Now then, is there anything you'd like to say before the competition officially begins? Ha-ha! That's the trailblazing spirit. How about you, Miss March? Hello, everyone! Next up, get ready for the Mega March 7th Adventure, where I'm going to break the speed run world record! Trailblazing into the uncharted and challenging the limits. That's Miss March 7th for you. How about Miss Firefly? I hope that by the end of this journey, Everyone will have achieved the outcome that they hoped for. Ah, <laughs> a wonderful wish! Miss Himiko, what are you expecting from your team? Safety first, everyone. <laughs> Simple words, but full of warmth. Waiting for you are three stages, each connected to that era. The first two stages offer two distinct paths to choose from, with unique challenges on each route. And in the last stage, you will face off against a champion who has defended the title to this very day. A beloved contender whose noble virtues are unrivaled. Those are the rules. Simple. Everyone clear? Now then. I hereby announce that the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises, has started. Everyone, as the Charmony Festival is drawing closer, we must reach the end as quickly as possible. Factoring in efficiency and safety, splitting up into two groups is the best choice. March and I haven't known Miss Firefly for too long, and aren't overly familiar with her. It'd probably be better if the two of you paired up. Fine by me! Let's do it! Alright, I don't have a problem with that. We'll split into the assigned groups then. Let's not waste time. Welcome to the first stage of Soul Glad Enterprises' 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season, Dreamplay Fantasia! In this stage, you can choose between two challenges, the School of Acting or School of Action. In the School of Acting Challenge, you have to complete three performances from three scripts and move the panel judges. In the School of Action Challenge, you have to defeat three groups of enemies convincingly and reach the end. Now, make your choice. those malevolent scoundrels with your dazzling fighting techniques! The title of Penacone's next big action star awaits you! Competitors, allow me to introduce the rules of this challenge to you. There are a total of three stages up ahead, each with their own challenges. The enemies you will contend against are antagonists from the film Once Upon a Time in Dreams. Defeat them swiftly and decisively to set a new record. 
it's worth mentioning that the fastest time at this stage was achieved by a contestant with fiery red hair. Astoundingly, he overcame all enemies across the three stages in only five minutes. Time is of the essence. Let's make this quick. Contestants, you are about to confront the monsters of the primordial dreamscape! During this period, Penacony was nothing but a barren wasteland. The dreamscape was fraught with strife and disorder, with memory zone memes running rampant! As dream chasers who've come to Panacone, defeating them is your first step towards success! All the Soul Glad is ours! Don't even think about plundering the Soul Glad from us! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Soul Clan! My Soul Clan! Pretty simple. <laughs> I just hope these tests don't take too long. Congratulations on becoming the first group of Dream Chasers! Answering the call from the Watchmaker, you are disappointed to learn that Panacone isn't paved with gold! Resigned to your current plight, you start from the hierarchical dredges, biding your time for a chance at success. Just as you're about to give up, a downpour sparks a business idea. You enter the umbrella business! But just as things are looking up, you encounter a competitor. Defeat them and emerge victorious from this trade war. Why is our opponent so glad? Because this is so glad Enterprise's 33rd festivity auditions of the 20th season! Isn't this just product placement? To safeguard the integrity of Soul Glad, I will soar high into the sky and become its shiniest star. Whoosh! Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Destined for oblivion. The world kisses me with pain, and I provide with soul glad in return. Whoosh! Congratulations to our two Dream Chasers for establishing yourselves as budding stars in Penacony. However, now you face a competitor selling at low prices, pushing you to the brink of bankruptcy! No matter how lengthy the battle, you always persevere. Topple this powerful opponent and the tides will turn, paving a way to success! None will take my soul glad away from me. I will use the transmutation arcanum to turn into a dinosaur! Roar! Oh, dinosaur! Devour my enemies! Roar! Grab a bottle of soul glad and make your dreams a blast! Roar! I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. The body withers. 
but the soul glad name shall not. Ah, you truly are a beast, more than I can ever be. Huh. That should do it. Okay, let's go. Mr. Yang is waiting for us. Isn't this fight way off from the actual storyline? Transforming into a dinosaur isn't imaginative enough for you? This is the sort of magic only seen on Tenaconi. Anyway, let's get back on track. Where were we? Oh, that's right. After an extended battle, you finally emerged victorious! But the companion who journeyed to Tenaconi with you chose to leave. Having lost all hope. In the years that followed, you encountered each other once more on the prosperous streets of Panacone, but dared not call out to one another, perhaps akin to the lingering regret of every dream chaser. Ah, oh, well done! You brought to life the thrilling action scenes from Once Upon a Time in Dreams. With your fighting skills. Looks like we won! Huh. Let's hurry up and get to the next stage. Congrats to both of you for clearing the stage, but more importantly, are you having fun? <laughs> Fun is more important than success. Look at the time. You finished much faster than that red-haired contestant did. That red-haired contestant? Who is that exactly? You'll find out eventually, but only if you clear the next test first. Welcome to the second stage of the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises. Gunfire time! You have the option to choose gunfire and undergo Brother Hanu's trial, or time, where you'll face Clucky's trial. Now, make your choice! Friends, welcome to the wonderful world created by the Watchmaker. <laughs> Awaiting you up ahead is the titular character from the beloved Clocky animation, Clocky! It's said that the Watchmaker dreamed up the idea of Clocky when he was just a boy. Back then, he was merely an apprentice in a clock shop, and one night, he dreamt that all the broken clocks started sprouting arms and legs. Like a skilled pilot, he steered them towards the right path. As a classic figure who grew up with many, Clocky truly shaped a generation, solidifying the watchmaker's pivotal role in popular culture. Contestants, may you have a wonderful time with Clocky. <laughs> the trial of time. I hope it won't waste too much of our time. You. Did it just speak? Am I just a failed experiment? I'm just an expendable failure of a clock, aren't I? Play? So I'm 
I'm not just a failed clock, I'm also a failed toy. You guys are just like the other challengers. You want to enter my inner self? Then please be my guest. But you won't find anything worthwhile. I'm just a failed piece. See? I'm just empty inside. Tick tock! It's time for me to make an appearance! Clocky? Uh, I can also see him. Is this character part of the show? In Dreamville, Clocky is everywhere and can do anything! Like, right now! I could solve this problem with your big ticker, pal! Tick tock! I can't believe it's actually Clocky! Why would you come and visit a failure of a clock like me for no reason? You see, we're all clocks. We're family. I want to help you be happy! Tell your pal Clocky what's troubling you. I... I came across a startling revelation yesterday. Apparently, Dreamscape Ticker isn't the same as Clocky at all. It's just a discarded prototype from Clocky's early development. Please, just leave me be, Clocky. I just don't know how to face you. Because I'm just a failure. Oh, dear. Seeing it like this is uh, utterly heart-wrenching. <laughs> but fear not. We're here to help it rediscover the missing parts of its inner self and guide it out of despair. <laughs> I guess even troop members can experience existential crises. Don't worry, miss. I've already pinpointed its missing parts! Over here, my friends! Better use that hamster ball night speed! We're here! There's a missing part on the opposite side! But how do we get over there? This must be one of the missing parts that Big Ticker needs! That's great! Another blood debt repaid.
Chris, you're okay. But why did you burrow yourself into that fella's tail? Because that fella stole one of Mr. Big Tipper's pots. Tweet! I wanted to help retrieve it, but I accidentally got myself stuck in the oven. Tweet! Go ahead and get it, but be careful. It's hot. Tweet! An inner self fragment belonging to the Sweet Dreams troop? <laughs> This is just too surreal. gathered all the missing parts. Let's hurry back. We don't want to keep Big Ticker waiting. We're back! As long as you have these, you'll be able to find closure. Tick-tock! Wow! This sudden surge of joy! It's working! Tick-tock! Next, we just need to enter its emoscape, help connect its pathways, and we're done! Thank you. 
you, Clocky. If not for you, I'd never be able to connect with people like this. You helped me find myself again. No problem at all. As the guardian of Dreamville, it's what I'm here for. Tick tock! Oh, my friends, you still have other important things to do, right? Go forth, my friends! When the moment comes, all the dream tickers and I will cheer for you! It's all done! Victory is in sight! Let's head to the final stage. Congratulations to both of you! Oh, you've overcome all obstacles and proven yourselves! But, uh, unfortunately, there is only one who can be Pentaconi's festive superstar. In the final stage, you will face the defending champion. If you fail, you will lose the opportunity to become the festive superstar. Welcome to the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival's third stage in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises Superstar Showdown. No way, I... I think I just saw someone. Someone extraordinary. Are you... a knight of beauty? Bear witness to- <laughs> We can't do this! Forward! You are fighting a gentleman. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! <laughs> Not a scratch. <laughs> We don't have much time. May fate allow us to meet again, Knight of Beauty. In that case, let's make our way to the end. Panacone's really thronging with talent. I hope we make it in time.
Congratulations to the both of you on becoming the festive superstars of this year's Charmony Festival before entering the Grand Theater. I, on behalf of the organizers, extend my sincere congratulations to you, wishing you joy under their radiance. As previously promised, my sister, Mr. Yang, and I have met with the Dream Master. We delved into the truth about Penacony and its Stellaron, and have come to a consensus. Both I and the Oak family cannot acquiesce to your request. <sighs> Just as expected. We acknowledge the perspective of you, Nameless. Penacony does require change, but not as you propose. The planet of festivities cannot and will not revert to a place characterized by chaos, disorder, or anarchy. Through your journey of overcoming obstacles, you must have glimpsed the essence of that era. The vulnerable ruthlessly eliminated, Equality non-existent. Common folk living precarious lives, eking out a dreary existence. Ultimately, only heroes like yourselves manage to achieve success. But I would dare ask, if you did not possess the special status of having a Stellaron, and you were but an anonymous and frail member among the masses, which Penacony would you prefer? A dystopia for the survival of the fittest? Or a sweet dream paradise for all? Uh, that's not the point! Don't let him mislead you! Mr. Sunday, even if the members of the Oak family can't fully agree on what to do about the Stellaron, now's not exactly the time to be holding an extensive discourse about Penacony's past and future, is it? The Stellaron issue concerns the life and death of everyone on Penacony. If anyone has a better suggestion, the crew is more than willing to listen. Also, it'd be best to tell us the ins and outs of that meeting. This way, We'll at least know what Welt and Miss Robin are dealing with, and the reason why they failed to make our appointment. Ah, Navigator. That is precisely my intention. With all present, let's begin by discussing the details of that meeting. Let's talk about our tribulations and choices, our ideals and beliefs, and our final course of action. The only path to take. <laughs> 